Hiya, are you alright? Good morning. So I'm up early, I'm getting my jobs done. The first thing I do when I get up is have a look at my orders and get these books sent out. My Northern Nick Fuss Free Christmas recipe books and these lovely calendars for 2024. Now people have been asking what are the recipes in these. These are new recipes, not the same as the book and people are wanting to see them but... You need to take my word for it that these are great. They're good, good, fail-safe, foolproof recipes. But if I show you them, there'll be no surprise when you get the book. I'll show you one. I'll just randomly... There we go, slow cooker beef curry. So that's the layout. You've got all your little boxes for all your days to put all your jobs and birthdays and whatnot in. You've got your picture of your recipe the actual ingredients, and then the method. That's all I'm showing you, because I want it to be a surprise when you get it. Anyways, I fancy a bit of cake with a cup of tea, so I'm going to make um, a courgette and lime cake with a lime and cream cheese frosting. In fact, not a cake, a loaf. Really simple, dead easy, you all can do it. Let's get the ingredients together. So you want a medium courgette, Put the end off and we just want to grate it now you want to grate it on this setting not this big one not this useless one this one so get it grated now get a sieve or a colander and you want to put all that courgette in the colander because we need to squeeze a lot of that water out just put it in the sink get your hands in and just squeeze the water out. Just leave that in the colander to drain. I want 200 grams of self-raising flour, 200 grams of light brown sugar. If you haven't got light brown sugar, just use ordinary sugar. Four eggs. It needs a helping hand to rise. So about half a teaspoon of baking powder. 200 mils of olive oil. Not extra virgin olive oil, because that's got too much of a taste to it. Plain old olive oil. In that goes. The zest of two limes. Oh, those limes smell good. Very limey. Doesn't look much yet, does it? Give it a whisk. Now, this is one of the best gadgets in my kitchen. This is about 20 years old. That's how long I've had it, and it's still going strong. Can't remember how much it was, but it didn't cost very much. I don't want a great big food mixer taking up a full cupboard. This is ideal. Does the job. Whisk up your batter. Take your courgette. Stir it in. Get it mixed in. You'll notice it's a loose batter. I've got a loaf tin. And I've got these liners. If you don't have a tin liner... Just put a bit of parchment on the bottom, but these are great. That's it. You have to use your eye with cooking a lot of the time. It doesn't matter if you haven't got the exact size tin that you need. If you've got leftover, just do a couple of cupcakes, do another one. The size of your tin you know it doesn't really matter as long as it's big enough. Now that goes in a 160 oven. If you see it getting too dark on the top, you can put a bit of foil over it. I did take a tablespoon or so out of it because I thought I'll try a cupcake just to see if it works. Sure it will. Let's have a look. It's had about 55 minutes. I did put some foil over because I didn't want it to get too dark. To see if it's ready, get a clean knife into it. And if it comes out clean, then it's done. So we'll knock the oven off because that's done. Let it cool completely. I did do the little muffin thing as well, cupcake, but I forgot about it. <laughs> I should have took it out sooner. So if you're doing a cupcake, it won't take so long to cook. Cake's cold now. So lift it out your loaf tin, unwrap it. Or don't unwrap it, you don't have to if you don't want it. Colour that's gorgeous. 
put it on whatever plate tray you're going to serve it on i've just had to find one big enough let's make the frosting you need 300 grams of soft cream cheese and folks say what's soft cream cheese just regular you know like philadelphia soft cream cheese this is just aldi's soft cream cheese 300 grams then stir in 100 grams of icing sugar gently at first because it puffs up everywhere now taste it make sure it's sweet enough not for me i'm going to put another i'm going to put another 100 grams in so another 100 grams goes in i did think 200 grams to start with but i thought let's let's try 100 put 200 grams of icing sugar I'm just going to give it a whisk to get any little lumps out. Little taste again. It's a clean spoon. Perfect. Now we've got some of this and it's lemon and lime marmalade. I picked it up in Aldi a couple of weeks ago and I thought that'll come in handy. That's Duchess's moaning and groaning in the background. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of that on top of the cake. Oh, that was, I didn't expect to be that strong. I've dolloped it on, just a couple of tablespoons and just spread it out over the top. Might have been better putting it in the microwave for 10 seconds to loosen it up, but it'll do. There, I've kind of spread it evenly all over the top. Do you know it smells lovely? I've never had lime jam before. Or lime jelly, whatever it is. Right now, all of this cream cheese needs to go on the top. I've decided I'm going to squeeze the lime juice. Just have one lime into this. Because I think it could be more limey. And this is quite a juicy lime. These limes smell amazing. This. And they're quite sweet. They're not as tart as, as some lime can be. Just give it a whisk. Give it a quick taste. It's a clean spoon. Yes, that's where I want it to be. Now dollop it all over your cake. Now we're not going to be tight with this frosting. We want plenty on. Spread it over. You want a thick layer. And if it drips over, it drips over. Get another lime. So we've had three limes in total here. And just over the top. Can you see those flecks of green? Gorgeous. How gorgeous does that look? Oh, look at that frosting. I mean, I mean, doesn't that look good? I can't tell you how good it smells. I forgot to say I put the juice of a lime into the sponge mixture as well, but I'll put it on the ingredients list. I think I need to put the kettle on because I'm about to have a piece of cake. Let's cut it and see. Try and cut it so that you can see inside. And fingers crossed it's cooked. But I'm sure it is. perfectly done oh that is that is that's 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 a moist light sponge let's try and pick it up i want to pick it up without slavering it everywhere and dropping it i'll take the end 
it's something that really you maybe could do with eating it with a fork. Oh my god. It's like a pillow. Oh my word. There's a bit of frosting fell off there, I'll mop it up. I've no words. This is the first time I've used olive oil in a cake. I've used oil before. This is by far the best. This is beautiful. This is a bit of a game changer. It's absolutely gorgeous. The sponge will freeze. You can put it in the freezer. Not the frosting though. You can't taste courgette in there. Not at all, really. Just tastes limey, cheesy, sweet. It just tastes beautiful. So anyone who doesn't like lime, like your kids, not lime, courgette. If they don't like courgette, don't tell them it's in there because they won't know. But it's gorgeous, bloody beautiful. Give this a go. Anyone can do this. If you get my recipes wrong, you've freestyled and you've done your own thing, you've gone off recipe. This is amazing. Give it a go. Definitely, if you have watched me blathering on till now, give us a like, give us a share. Because if you don't like, you don't share and you don't comment, I'll stop popping up for you. And you won't see my posts and then you'll be sending us messages saying, where are you Nicola, have you packed it in and you're not about anymore? Yes I am, I haven't been anywhere. You're just not liking and following and sharing and commenting. So you have to do that to keep me popping up for you. So do that. Give this a go, give this a go. And I shall see you soon. I've got plenty more coming up. I'm so busy. Thank you. I should have had my pinny on. Thanks to everyone who's bought books, calendars, aprons. I so much appreciate it. They are all going out as fast as I can get them out to you. And lots of you have already got them. There is a two-week wait on the aprons because they're made to order. That order has gone in. So hopefully it won't take two weeks. And I'll be getting them straight out to you as soon as I get them. But anyways, have a great day. I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.